Hello everyone, Akash here. If you personally enjoy going to casino, you know, I personally do enjoy going to casino, but early 20s, you know, like I used to go so often and definitely there's few rules now I follow every time I go to casino that really help me to cut down my losses. Absolutely cut down my losses. A few tips in this video, I'll give it to you. Personally, I live in New York and I grew up in New York, but when I was in early 20s, they didn't have that many casinos in New York. We had to go to Atlantic City or we had to go to Connecticut Mohegan or Fox Sur, you know what I mean? We didn't have that much option. I enjoy, still enjoy going to Atlantic City and going to Mohegan, you know, like Fox Sur and those area, you know, like been to Las Vegas a few times, but definitely that's too far for me from New York. But if you're kind of person, you enjoy going to casino, but you always, when you come home, losing money from the casino and you think about it you know what that's it i'm not going there anymore okay i'm gonna cut down going there but you don't do that you just go back maybe a week two weeks later you just forget about all those things and you go back to casino and you just go through the same cycle again so it was happening to me personally enjoy going to casino early 20s then there's few rule i do follow right now i'll give it to you rule number one i don't take my debit card or credit card with me in the casino i don't do that because think about it every time how often it happened to you personally you took your debit card and your credit card with in the casino and you had like maybe thousand dollar five hundred dollar depending on your budget you went there you went there and you lost that money and you went back to debit card using their debit card taking some money out and paying that big fee they charge you every time you use your debit card and even you don't have it debit card maybe your, your credit card they takes in a casino and gives you cash you know so you have those options and then you end up losing so much more money so if you just leave your credit card or debit card in home think about it and you go to casino and you whatever the money even you having a really bad day you lost whatever you had but at least you didn't take out more money and lose more money so at least when you come home you'll feel a little bit better because instead of losing five hundred dollar you could have been losing two thousand dollar or more than that but you didn't took that so you lose less less that's the one way you could you know cut down your losses again if you go to there you win money great it's a good day you could just walk out of there and you could have a better you know you could try another day second rule you always budget yourself and you gotta figure out how long you're going to play many times that happens if you enjoy going to casino you know what i'm talking about when you walk out into the casino you're thinking okay i'm gonna play for two hours but do you really play two hours you know, if you're having good time, you, you win some money. Did you really get off and stop playing? Highly unlikely, very few people do that. But you have to make that decision. That's very important. Casino, they're going to do everything, every trick they have to keep you there. You stay there longer, you're going to lose more money. That is the idea. There is no watch in the casino that you could see. They're going to tell you the time. They're going to keep the temperature really nice and cool. They want you to drink. So, you know, like, this is the thing. Okay, they're running a business, okay? They're running a business. Absolutely get that. But you have to make that self yourself, okay? I'm walking in with $500. Well, how much? You're trying to make $300. If you're thinking about $500 to win. Again, everybody's situation could be di different. It could be a high roller. You got to have a big number in your mind. But like I said, I'm just giving you $500. You walk in there with the $500, you're thinking you got to double your money. And some days you did double your money. But you know what? You went back. You went back the same. You just win this hour, $500. You didn't go home. You just keep on playing and lose everything. It happens so often, right? So this is why it's very important that you say my, yourself, I'm going to play for two hours. I'm going to take a break. And if I win this amount of money and I'm going to be out of there, I'm not going to play. If you do that, you most likely increasing your chance to win in a casino. Because first of all, you're not taking any debit cards or credit cards with you. So you're already a winner in that way, losing more money. And you only have $500 to lose and you win you win you walk out you walk out you know why i'm telling you you could go there another day enjoy the free drink and play for again two hour three hour whatever you wanted to play you could spend enjoy it because you enjoy going there 
that is the first thing so if you kind of, every time you're going there losing money losing money losing money financially it's not good so if you don't lose money every time you go there that is a good thing so that's the second thing that you should think about it every time you go to the casino third thing you have to look at a budgeting let's say you go there overnight you stay overnight and they give you a room of course if you play there they give you a room so how much a room costs room might cost you a hundred dollar right per night i'm just giving you an example it could be different which night is it but if you just consider if you're going to somewhere in a vacation or something you get a room for overnight it would cost you a hundred dollar if they give you some money for the food and the gas right so another fifty dollar they give you for so that's hundred and fifty dollar right and you walk into the casino without a debit card or credit card two hundred dollar hey i'm gonna spend two hundred dollar you know i'm gonna go in a slot machine or i'm gonna play poker i'm gonna play blackjack whatever is it you think you're gonna play with that two hundred dollar even you lose that two hundred dollar you got a free room you get a free drinks you got yourself a good deal so you, you would if you done that not in a casino you would cost you 150 dollar but you only lost 50 dollar even you lose that 200 dollar but if you take your debit card or credit card with you you might be losing you're not thinking straight you just go there and taking more money out playing again then next end of the morning in the morning you see oh my god i lost thousand dollar already so prevent that just don't take it with you that, that it's not it's not easy absolutely it's not easy but make it a habit so that would help you long run even you lose 200 dollar you're gonna go home you're not gonna feel that bad and maybe next month you're gonna come back again getting a free nights staying and trying with 200 dollar and you might win you never know you know so but if you win 200 dollar if you're thinking hey i'm gonna play more and i'm gonna win don't do that try to control yourself and you know it's, it's very hard to do that but just thinking like about like this if i do that if i control myself i could come back another day and enjoy it in casino playing and you know and enjoying with my friends and whatever so there are a few things i think you should consider and change your habit a little bit and don't walk in there another thing don't walk in there with too much cash you know because if you get too much cash casino is there to make make you feel comfortable and take your money so if you have some great tips that you use personally when you go to casino i would love to hear it that maybe something that you do maybe better than i do but uh, definitely in the comment section you could share it and definitely hope if this video was helpful to you consider subscribe to my channel thank you so much